watch. Ladies and gentlemen, it is January 19th, 2022, and a Road Ahead announcement post is imminent in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. What can we expect on the upcoming Road Ahead post or State of the Galaxy post? I think it's going to be a Road Ahead post, uh, giving us an idea of what news is coming to the game. What can we expect in terms of characters, maybe quality of life updates, conquest changes, and a lot more. So today's video, I'm going to talk about, I've got six things that I think are on the table that you could expect to see in the next upcoming Road Ahead post. Uh, now, I, some of these things I think are more likely than other things. Um, and I, I will talk about which ones I think we will probably see, which ones I think we probably won't. So let's just get right into it. The first thing that I think is extremely likely, I'm, I'm going to give this a very high probability, and that is that we see Gear 2.0 uh, changes announced. It was in September that we got the state of the Gearlixie, which was announced as the phase one changes to the gear inflow in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And at the end of that post, they said in the near future, we will be announcing what those phase two changes will be. We have not seen what those changes are. It is almost six months later. It's very, very likely that that will be a focal point. I'm going to make my prediction, actually, that this is one of the focal points of the upcoming Road Ahead or State of the Galaxy post. So I, I would book that, take that to the bank almost. And if that's probably one of the main things where if it wasn't in the Road Ahead, I would, I would be pretty disappointed, honestly. That, that would surprise me. Um, the second thing is... We And this is another one I feel very, very confident on that we're going to see, if not on the road ahead post at a very, very soon uh, post. We, we kind of have to, and that's whoever the next Conquest character will be and likely changes to Conquest. Every single iteration of Conquest, we've had changes made to it. Uh, most of the time, those changes has, have been to our uh, demise and not necessarily changes we are happy with. Although I do feel like they kind of improved from the Maul Conquest to the Boba Conquest. Enough so that it, the grind felt uh, somewhat manageable to me. I still want them to go in a more positive direction. I'm really crossing my fingers that the next iteration of Conquest continues to move in a better direction. Uh, because it's still not in a very good place. But probably the biggest intrigue is who is the character going to be? So far, we've received uh, three very good characters in Conquest. Uh, from uh, from those uh, that game mode. Um, the ship that we received, uh, Razorcrest, is also a very, very good part of the meta in ships. But uh, Ahsoka, obviously very good. Maul is incredible, very flexible. And we're now finding out Boba Fett able to beat Lord Vader in uh, Territory Wars. If Territory Wars is your thing, probably a must-have character. So here are a couple characters that I think could be on the table for this. And then at the end, I'll make a prediction of who I, which one I think it will be. Number one, Black Chrysanthemum. If you're not watching Book of Boba Fett, I'm sorry if I spoiled that for you, but that's like, you know, three episodes ago. So get with it. Uh, Black Chrysanthemum, I think, is a character that we are almost for sure going to see in this game. Um, I actually don't think he's going to be a Conquest character, though. I, I, he's probably the number one predicted Conquest character that I'm seeing right now. And I honestly don't think we're going to get him for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, I feel like it's maybe too soon. I think CG might view that as spoilery, maybe. Um, also, I don't think he's a central enough character for Conquest, at least based on what they've done so far with Conquest. The Razorcrest is the Mandalorian ship. It's like the, the main character of the show, their ship. Ahsoka a very central character in the Clone Wars um, we've, and Rebels. Uh, well, well, that was Clone Wars Season 7, though. Um, we've got Maul, who is Maul. <laughs> we've got Boba Fett, who is the showrunner for Book of Boba Fett. And so Chrysanthemum, to me, just feels probably a little too much of a side character, even though he's an amazing character, and I would love to see him in this game. I think he's more of a marquee character. Um, there's also that Tusken lady that Boba Fett trains with, in um at the beginning of book of boba fett and for the same reasons as black chrysanthemum i think that that's a character we're likely to receive but probably not as a conquest character it just doesn't seem like an important enough character although cg could depart from that script we've got a four unit precedent so far for conquest and uh you know m maybe going forward they will move to more 
uh, side story characters. Um, it could be, I think this is maybe one of the more likely ones, it could be the capital ship that was leaked. If you remember that leak on Reddit that leaked Qui-Gon Jinn's Omicron, it leaked the changes to Squad Arena Crystals, and the last thing on that leak was that we'd be getting the Ravager, the ship that Nihilus took over. And so it would probably be deemed Nihilus' capital ship. That, I think, could easily be a conquest unit. That, that, that seems important enough, especially if it is a capital ship. Uh, that's one I really hope they don't do because the last thing we need right now is a capital ship. But based on the leak that we had and the timing of it all, that one I think maybe makes sense for what I think they could do. Um, a new version of Slave 1 is also something we could definitely see. Um, Boba Fett is the central character of Book of Boba Fett, obviously, and we don't have the new version of Slave 1 that he could use. Um, that would be significant enough that I think that we could see bo uh, th that ship uh, coming as a conquest unit. One of my hesitations, I'm not sure if they would uh, make a, a ship that soon that, that could only be piloted by the last conquest character. Uh, but maybe they would. I don't know. It'd just kind of be... Uh, I, I would really suck if you didn't get Boba Fett, uh, Scion of Django. So, um, anyway, that that's a possibility. Crosshair could be it. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, Bad Batch coming up pretty soon in the spring. We still don't have Crosshair in this game. And so th those are the main characters I thought of. Somebody else in my chat said, well, maybe a new Gamorrean Guard, but I really don't think that would be a Conquest character. But honestly, out of all of these, my prediction is none of them. I don't think that we are going to predict whoever this next Conquest unit is. And a big reason why I think that is because we just got Iden Versio. That came out of nowhere. I, I mean, the only reason we were able to sniff that out, that, well, I shouldn't say we, you guys, because I didn't buy it, was because of that uh, Twitter interaction between Sam Witwer and the actress. And so people got kind of got a hint that maybe she's coming to the game. But if it weren't for that, that would have completely caught us off guard. And so I almost wonder if they're just going to go to some other um, some other genre uh, or era of the game for this conquest. Um, so that's that's my personal prediction is that we will find out who the next conquest character is and that uh, the characters that I came up with for my predictions, I, I actually I actually don't think it's going to be any of them. I think they're going to surprise us with something different. Um, so the third thing that we could really be seeing in this uh, Road Ahead post I think this is likely uh, probably some quality of life changes. And there's, there's a lot of quality of life changes we've been asking for for a long time. We're kind of overdue for a quality of life update. And traditionally, the beginning of the year has been where CG likes to kind of make some good quality of life changes. A couple ideas of what we could see in a quality of life uh, update. We could see ship loadouts. <laughs> oh, we're going to ask for this forever. I know it's on their radar. It's it's like the next time they do quality of life updates, if they don't do ship loadouts, I'm just going to be like, all right, well, maybe they're never doing it. I don't know. Um, a Sith raid sim is long overdue. I could see that coming. Some mod management uh, adjustments could come. I, something I'd really like to see that I, I think is possible eventually. I don't know if it would come with a quality of life update or just with a new iteration of Conquest, but uh, data disk loadouts. How nice would it be to go in and save a couple different loadouts of data disks as you accumulate them so you can organize them a bit, have them. Because a lot of times you'll have a data disk set that's just like, this is my mall over a team data disk set with the thermal exhaust and everything. But then I need to take that stuff off so I can get the individual kills for Mandalorian units or whatever it is. Um, so I, I could see something like that. And then the big one that I, I think we'll definitely see is an, an, an Omicron icon for the character portraits that is distinct from Zeta. So you can see this character has Zetas and Omicrons. This character just has an Omicron, whatever the case may be. Uh, number four, I think a lot of people are going to expect to see maybe a new Galactic Legend announced in the upcoming Road Ahead. I actually think we probably won't see a new Galactic Legend in this Road Ahead. Um, it's still very possible. So I'm, I'm including it on this video, but I, I just feel like they, they seem, they, based on the last uh, comment that I saw from CG about um, th they were asked in an interview, I think it was, if they were going to do Galactic Legends once a quarter because that's what they were, I think, averaging. And uh, they, they were pretty clear that that's not their plan. It almost seemed like they were maybe taking a break from GLs for a little bit. We'll definitely get new GLs. Like, I mean, there's no way we don't get at least two GLs in, in 2022, probably four, I think, at least. 
Um, but I, I just have a feeling uh, that it might be a little bit longer before we get that announcement. Um, but it could, it could be possible, too, that they just tease what the next GL will be um, without giving us anything too explicit. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I, it's possible. I just My personal prediction is that we won't see that. Uh, number five, very likely we see new Omicrons added to the game. Um, I, I could see upwards of, you know, 10 characters announced that are going to get Omicrons. Maybe a couple specific abilities uh, dropped with this. Um, the way that they kind of did it before was they gave us a list of a bunch of characters that were going to be getting Omicrons, and then they announced what the specific kits were um, a little bit later. And so I could see that happening again as well. And then the last thing, number six, is, I think this one... Makes me a little antsy because if they were to do this, I think it might mean that we were also getting maybe Relic 10, which I do not, I, I just almost want to edit that out of the video because I don't even want to say that. Um, but I think we're due for a challenge tier tank raid. Uh, now, maybe they're only going to ever do a challenge tier for the Rancor raid and we're not going to see it for all the raids. That feels like a missed opportunity to me. I think the challenge tier Rancor raid was uh, pretty engaging. I think we had a lot of fun with that. Um, and so I could easily see them moving towards a challenge tier tank raid. My concern, though, is if they were to do that, that would be the avenue through which they dropped Relic 10 materials. Or they could be nice, and they could drop additional Relic 9 materials there so that there's a second place where we can get that. Um, I, that would be the best scenario uh, for that. So anyway, those are the six things that I think we could be looking for. By no means is this a comprehensive list. Please fill up the comments. What do you guys think we could be seeing in the upcoming Road Ahead or State of the Galaxy post, whichever one uh, comes next? I think we're going to see something here pretty dang soon. So my friends, stay tuned for that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like the video on your way out if you do enjoy it and check your subs. Are you subbed to the channel? Over 50% of you guys watching this video aren't even subscribed. So go on and click that button so you don't miss any of the content. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.